Hello everyone, I'm Deepak Kalakuri. I'm a principal product manager at Amazon Web Services and I lead product management for the Elastic Container Service, ECS. Today I'm here to talk about the ECS service and the new Docker Compose integration that we launched in December and all of the applications and the use cases you can achieve with that. Let's review the agenda for the day. We'll have a quick review of the key container services and ECS specifically so that we are all on the same page and then deep dive into the specifics of the Docker Compose and talk about the Docker Compose ECS integration. I will talk about some of the practical use cases that you can solve with that integration and the value proposition of running in the Fargate service. I'll also talk about a new service offering that we just launched, the Amazon Elastic Container Service Anywhere. Uh, ECS Anywhere. With that, let's get started. What do we hear from our key customers? We hear a lot of things. Some of our most successful customers want the ability to innovate faster, quickly, and compete in a global marketplace and deliver value for their customers in turn. They want their teams to focus on building applications, not infrastructure. This helps them innovate rapidly. They want their infrastructure to be customized to their needs. This is especially useful for the large customers and enterprises who want to customize and use that as an advantage against their competition. They want the ability to scale their applications rapidly to their demand that their websites see, for example, or their internal customers ask them for. They want security and isolation and control over accesses and permissions and automation around that to reduce human error. Well, ECS delivers a powerfully simple solution that works for a vast majority of enterprises out there. ECS lets your developers move up the stack and focus on the work that is critical to your business. We do this by being fully managed. There is no control plane for developers to manage. AWS manages, manages it for you. We do this by being easy to learn. If you know AWS and the Amazon APIs, you know ECS. We have Amazon AWS native authentication, networking and storage, and great integrations with many other AWS services. Our simplicity comes from the fact that there are no versions to manage, there are no versions to upgrade, and then you can just get quickly started without managing infrastructure with the ECS Fargate. We do this by being easy to adopt. We have a rich set of partners and tooling to help you bring the software you already know with you to ECS. And more importantly, we do this by being Amazon grade. That means reliability and security at a huge scale. We run some of the largest workloads and the most critical workloads on the planet with ECS every single day. Designed for simplicity from the start, using Amazon ECS decreases the number of decisions customers have to make around compute, network, storage, or security configurations. For example, if you need a load balancer, AWS application load balancer or the network load balancer integrates seamlessly with ECS. So you don't need to build or maintain generalized abstractions. ECS is very friendly and familiar to developers with experience using Docker. ECS on Fargate is a great starting point if you want to move quickly. The value of Fargate comes from the fact that you do not have to manage the underlying infrastructure and the armies associated with that. Fargate, as needed by your application, spins up a task and infrastructure to support that running application. AWS is deeply committed to removing heavy lifting for teams. Last year, we announced a relationship with Docker to support this commitment. Developers love the simplicity of Docker Compose and the desktop, yet they haven't had a simple way to use Docker and deploy those applications to AWS from their local development environments. That is now handled native natively with the integration that we just launched. Our collaboration allows developers to use Docker Compose to deploy applications on the Amazon ECS 
with Fargate and streamline the process of deploying and managing containers in AWS from your own local development environment using Docker. We expect to build more with Docker. We'd love to get your inputs, so please ask. There is a GitHub that you can go to and leave comments on for any feature requests you have. Let me take a simple example to explain the power of this integration. Here's a sample application called Yelp uh, that one of my colleagues has built. It's a standard multi-tier web application with a front end and a load balancer, an application server, and a database backing it up. You can find more about this application or download the code for this application by going to that GitHub link. Now let's look at the various deployment artifacts that this application would need if you were to deploy it using a variety of tools. If you were to write this up natively using the ECS and the CloudFormation stack, it takes a lot of lines of code. You would end up with about 400-ish lines to deploy this application. And that's because a lot of the infrastructure needs to be defined by you with CloudFormation. What if you were to take this and deploy the same exact application running Kubernetes? With Kubernetes, you would probably end up about 200-ish lines. That's, that's a great improvement, 50% improvement uh, in the infrastructure as code because Kubernetes provides some abstractions for you. Well, what if you wanted to stick with ECS and simplify it? One way you could do that is to actually use the AWS CDK, the deployment kits, that ECS natively integrates into. If you were to use the CDKs, the CDK would in turn create the artifacts for you on the cloud formation, and you would actually need only about 100-ish lines. That's already down to a 25% compared to the stack that you would end up with if you were to write it yourself in cloud formation. Well, with now with the Docker Compose integration and the abstractions we have built natively into this integration, you can deploy the same application on the Fargate with just 40 lines of code. That's a whopping 90% reduction in the code. So how do we do this? To answer that, you would need to understand just a little bit more about this application and Docker itself. Let's look at a, the same sampling application when deployed using a local Compose deployment experience. You would load up the application using the Docker CLI and take your Yelp Docker Compose YAML and run it through the CLI. That would in turn deploy it using the Docker engine on your Mac workstation or the Windows workstation and it would, and it would bring up the application. A user can now access this application running on your computer through the browser using the local host connectivity. This is great. Uh, it gives you a good way to quickly test, do a Docker up, and down, and then you, you're off running. But what if you wanted to take this application and deploy that in the cloud today? With this integration, now you can do that, and quite easily. If you were to take the same exact application, the YAML file, and run it through the integration that we built, it'll generate opinionated cloud formation templates automatically for you. You can see that the Docker CLI with its now integrated commands would generate a cloud formation template. And you can now start to interact with the AWS CLI to take these cloud formation templates and deploy them in the Amazon automatically. So all of a sudden now you have a stack for this running in the cloud on the Fargate with Elastic Container Service. A user can still continue to access the application through the browser and it would hit the application load balancer running in cloud and which would direct the traffic onto one of the tiers. There are many use cases that this enables. Let's talk about a few of them. First, it's likely for running multiple con containers in an application, developers are already using Docker Compose to power their local deployment and development. And maybe they're using Docker Swarm or their own version of Kubernetes to orchestrate the workloads in their data centers. There are customers who are looking forward to migrating these workloads to the cloud, to the Amazon Web Services Cloud, using the simplicity of the ECS Fargate. 
today they don't have much of a choice because they'd have to figure out writing up this entire application themselves and the infrastructure as code and deploying it or running and managing their own orchestrators and the complexity that comes with that in their data centers. There are customers who are concerned about the developer productivity and developer experience across this migration journey. Customers who want to orchestrate a multi-tier application end-to-end -end testing with their own CD, CI CD pipelines have a lot to worry about. With this integration, you can now seamlessly have the same experience and deploy the applications in cloud and natively integrate into your own CI CD pipelines. Talking about hybrid environments, I want to discuss about new innovations we're launching here. One of the improvements we will be adding for this integration this year would be for the ECS Anywhere. Let me give you some context on what the ECS Anywhere is about. At AWS, we believe in offering customers choice for running containers. Customers can run containers in the AWS regions today. Over the last few years, we've added support for running container applications with ECS on local zones or the AWS wavelength, and, and recently, in the last one and a half years or so, on AWS outposts. But customers still run a lot of workloads or have a lot of legacy workloads running on premises in their own data centers. Some of these customers sometimes want to start their containerization journey before they move to the cloud. And they wanted a way to manage containers on their customer managed infrastructure as well. That is already running in their own data centers. There are a few key use cases uh, for these hybrid footprints. One, customers want to have a consistent experience deploying containers in Amazon and on-prem in their data centers. There are ISVs who want to be able to better compete for, for on-prem businesses. And today, they're not able to do that because they have to navigate disparate tool sets for running containers between the cloud and on-premises. And that really increases their costs, which they'd have to pass on to their end customers. And therefore, the overall cost of the whole ecosystem goes up. Customers who run in regulated industries want more control over how their infrastructure is managed. There are startups who build applications like personal wallet apps that need to have data centers and data located locally due to the regulations. For all these customers, and there are yet other customers who run machine learning workloads on premises for cost reasons or latency reasons. All of these customers want a simple toolkit that works across both their hybrid and cloud footprints. The second use case that we hear a lot about for hybrid footprints is around the modernization journey. Customers have a lot of existing legacy on-premises applications if they're not born in the cloud. So outside of the digital native applications and digital native customers, there are a lot of large enterprises with legacy workloads. And as part of their modernization or containerization journey, they want to be able to containerize existing workloads on-premises while they figure out their long-term migration path to cloud. And yet there is a third set of use cases we start to hear a lot about, which is about running data processing workloads at the edge. There are enterprises who run containerized data processing workloads on edge locations, such as the factory workflows, or for machine data aggregation, or drone and CCTV image processing, or medical image processing at the local facilities. Today, these customers would have to stand up their own Kubernetes or container orchestrator, open source container orchestrator, and that can be quite expensive in terms of both the ability to get up to speed and learn the latest constructs and also managing the control plane and keeping it up and ready and managing the infrastructure as well as the versions for those orchestrators. With EC as anywhere, we have a game changing technology here to offer. We are super excited about this because ECS Anywhere no longer needs to operate 
a separate control plane on the data centers. So customers can now benefit with a managed control plane that sits in Amazon and that removes the complexity for them to manage their own Mesos or a Kubernetes orchestrator locally are the challenges that come with managing Kubernetes locally. ECS now helps customers standardize container management across all of their environments, including at the edge, and enables them to add their on-premises infrastructure quite easily. It simplifies and reduces complexity for customers migrating workloads to the cloud. So how does it do that? Firstly, it's the same exact control plane. It's a fully managed control plane that ECS has today. And what we've done is in addition to enabling Fargate, EC2, and Outpost, and many other compute types that AWS offers, we now have the ability for you to take your on-premises infrastructure, which could be a bare metal server or a virtual machine instance, and connect it through an agent into Amazon ECS. Once the agent is up and running, you're connected to the control plane but through your authentication keys, and that is all you need. At this point, the ECS agent takes over managing the container applications on that infrastructure. And with the same ECS run task and the ECS service create, that simple application construct, you're able to run your container applications on your own data centers. You get a consistent tooling and governance. You use the same tools and the APIs for all of your container-based applications, regardless of the operating environment. You can also now manage your hybrid footprint with one toolkit and migrate or expand to cloud if you run out of data center capacity. When we look at both the personas, the operator and the developer persona, operators, central IT operators can now easily enable the developers to innovate with containers without having to worry about how they would actually do that. Developers can request their operators for either a bare metal server or a virtual machine, and that is all they need. Once the virtual machine is presented to the developers, developers can take over and then deploy their agents and then run in the cloud. There are no additional costs. It's a fixed cost, and as you can imagine, uh, we are priced aggressively to promote container adoption irrespective of where the containers run. What do our customers say? Well, as a matter of fact, they're very excited. Cyber Agent is, an, is a great example here. Cyber Agent is an internet services company, a large one at that, based out of Japan that focuses on digital advertising and media services. They're excited about the possibilities and what ECS Anywhere offers for them with the powerful simplicity of ECS being available to customers running on premises. There is no control plane running in the data center. It's centrally managed and all of the upgrades are taken care of automatically. ECS Anywhere enables them to use a fully managed control plane in the cloud orchestrating across containers both in the cloud and on premises and helps them run tasks using their own infrastructure which they've already invested in. With this one control plane for both on premises and cloud native applications, they are able to better manage their hybrid footprint, get their costs down and innovate with a lot of agility for their customers. Let's summarize. I've shown you how Amazon ECS on Fargate is the simplest way to run your containers and why it makes a lot of sense for you to pick that up. With Docker Compose integration, you can now run Compose files in the cloud on Fargate and ECS through the simple app integration that we built up. And we plan to invest in that this year as well. We talked about ECS Anywhere and the benefits that it offers. So you can now have one control plane running in the cloud. Later this year, we plan to also improve the Docker integration and add the ECS Anywhere integration capabilities into that. To learn more, you can go to the ecsworkshop.com and play with some sample applications we have there for you to learn about ECS and the Fargate services that we offer. You can also go to the Docker links that I have here to learn about the integration that we've done with the Compose CLI. Thank you. Uh, with that, that's a wrap. Uh, thanks for listening and chiming in. And if you want to reach out to us, you can 
Find me on Twitter or LinkedIn. Deepak Kalakuri signing off. Thank you.